What is happening guys? Welcome back to Shadow of the Earth Tree. Last episode we made it through the Elec River. Uh, basically we started way over here. Pillar path way... No wait. No, no, no. That's not right. Uh, we made it down. So if you don't know how to get down here, it's kind of tricky. You have to basically move yourself over here toward this swamp area. And then make your way down this long path down. And it turns into an open like waterway. And then you're basically underground and you go through there. And you make it to the Elec River Cave. Uh, and then the Elec River Cave is actually this giant section down here, which has really nothing in it. Uh, except for if you go one way, there's a bunch of birds in the dark area and our waterfall. And that's how we made it down here, Elec River Downstream. So if you don't know how to make it down here, go watch the video from yesterday. I'll teach you how to go down here. It's pretty self-explanatory, though, so I think you can figure it out. So, let's uh, talk to Mr. Fishing Dude. Looks like he's fishing. Oh, maybe not. I was once told a coffin could convey its passage, uh, its passenger upon a gentle cruise. Oops, I'm just saying I could. To the velvet garden of deepest purple. Oh, to slumber in such a paradise. Is it talking about the reeves down here? The, like this area? Because this is that area that I'm thinking about. We have not figured out how to get over there yet. This is something we need to figure this out yet. But for one thing at a time here, though, we'll first have to go through this, see where this takes us. Elec River downstream. Because this looks like a whole nother area. <laughs> Imagine that. Hmm. It goes across over there, and it also goes down here. No, wait, that's... is that... No, that's land right there. Wait, what is that? Why is there a thing attached to that rock right there? You see that? What is that? That's very odd. I wonder if that was accidentally placed in the game or something by accident? Or it was meant to put there, I don't know. <laughs> So now we are underground of this area. Hmm. Put in perspective, the DLC started here. Now we're underground here. Uh, not above. So the Church of Consolation is on top of where we are right now. It's above, way above us. Oh, this map is trippy, man. And there's another fire keeper down here as well. Let's not get on his bad side. Hey, the giant goats are back. Last time we saw those was in the dragon land. Oh shit, no, I didn't. I did not mean to shoot that thing. I did not mean to shoot you. Oh no. Oh no, that's not. I did not mean to shoot you, buddy. Okay, these things are way aggressive. If I get killed by this thing. This is definitely a troll by Miyazaki. Complete troll. I cannot roll that for some reason. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. Okay. Uh, so do not carry the the uh, magic swords. Because they automatically will shoot those things to aggro them. Uh, lesson learned. Lesson learned. 
Because those things will not attack you if you just start, if you don't attack them. But if you do attack them, they're going to attack you like crazy. Lightning perfume battle. So now I have a lightning fire and poison. I should level all those up just to have them. So they take regular smithing stone or no wait, they take do they take somber stones maybe? Because they only you can't change the ash of or can you change the ash of war on those? I'll have to look. If he's gonna stand right there, I can look right now. Um it looks like so I, oh, I have an ice one too. I must have picked this up at some point. I, I don't remember grabbing this. So you can change the ash of war. So these are regular smithing stones. Oh, except for this one. This one is a somber one. I'm going to have to level those up so we can try those out. I like how they made them an actual weapon in the DLC and not a consumable. That's neat. I always felt like perfume bottles, like, could have been used more in regular base game if they were, had a more, you better use to them rather than just consumable. So now, we are back into this area? Huh. Thought we were already here. How did we not exp... This was Grace was not touched yet though, so apparently we have not explored this. No, we've explored this though. I must have just missed this Grace. Let's ride around here real quick. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Because maybe this is a different section. It's possible it is. <laughs> we know how the map can be pretty confusing. But I'm pretty sure though we went through this. Maybe not, though. We would have had to have, though. I'm so confused. I'm sure we did. Because we would have had to have if we came through this way before. And this was like on episode 6 or 7 that we had done this. Thought. But we still don't know how to get over there, though. Still brings up the... heck are you? Oh, you're these... Okay. I remember these things. They suck. They suck real... a lot. Oh, wow. That can actually stop me. Man, everything is terrible out here. I don't think we were here before. How do I get out there, I wonder? Hmm. Dude, everything out here is horrible. <laughs> There's an item right there, too. I want to grab that. I 
Well, I know we went through some of this, because I remember all the blue flowers, but I don't remember some of this stuff over here, though. I don't remember getting this close to that island. It looks like there's, like, a area right there. I'm guessing that building has stairs in it. Maybe there's, like, an underground section. Well, we got the item. That's what I wanted to grab, was the item. <laughs> I'm guessing that island over there has a underground place and you have to find the other underground place that connects it maybe kind of like in Limgrave on the starting island where you go over to this island right here you go through a cave the uh, cave right over here and that opens up into here That's my prediction, anyway. We'll see if it plays out like that. we've been back here, right? Maybe not. I can summon here. Let's bring out... Omen Killer. Strong foe ahead, therefore try stealth. Strong foe, my ass. <laughs> we whipped his, we wiped the ground with him. <laughs> Probably didn't need a summon for that, but but only I had wolf. Hmm. I wonder where that goes back there. We also have an area that goes this way as well. Whoa, cave. Let's go. Scad tree fragment. That's what I was looking for. Am I going this way yet or not? Or is this the way I went in here with? I think this is where we went in, right? No, maybe not. 
I can summon again here. Find out why I can summon here. It's like a whole brawl down here. This is epic. Oh, there's a boss down here. That's why we could summon. Oh, it's one of those things. sword. Let's see what that is. Starline sword. Sword encrusted with a line of stars fashioned from small pieces of crude glintstone. Weapon of the demi-human swordsman. When bestowed with this weapon by their queen, the swordsmen swear to find the truth that lies at the end of the procession of stars. Unique skill owns line of stars. The skill named after demi-human swordmaster imbues sorcerous energy into line in lined glinstone and executes a slash attack. Repeated inputs allow for up to two follow-up attacks, each dealing greater damage than last. It's an intelligence dex weapon. Huh. Cool. All right, anything else down here? They saw me just kill their master, yet they still want to fight. Definitely didn't learn their lesson. I go over here or not? Is this gonna kill me? Okay, there's an item over there. Ooh, a rare item. Tch, more grave glove work. Uh already have plenty of that.
Okay, so that's everything here on this area. Let's go back through here again. I feel like we're missing something in this area. I mean, we found the scad tree fragment, but I still feel like there's something something else here. check behind each of these waterfalls, make sure there's no cave or anything. Okay, this is where we fought the dude. What if we go straight back? Is there anything straight back here? Item. Spirit sword. That's about it. Unless there's something up here. Alright, so there's nothing else over here. Have I gone up on this? I don't know. Actually, I don't know if I even can get up there on that on this one. I don't know if I can get up on that one. No precious item ahead. Okay, there we go. Yeah. You weren't kidding. I really want to figure out how to get to that island out there. You don't think you could go inside that thing, do you? Uh, let's try back. Other side, maybe? No. Yeah, there's a lot of lightning out there. We, we know that because it kills us every time we go out there. Ooh, what is... We go up that? I know you can go down it, but can you go up it? <laughs> this is Cerule uh, Cerulean Coast West. Keep wanting to say Cerulean uh, from Pokemon, Cerulean City. <laughs> I think that was uh, Misty's City, Misty's Gym, if I remember right. Oh, wait, can we just walk over here? There's no way. Those crabs, though. Let's see if there's any area that looks like we can walk on it, maybe. No horse ahead. That's not looking good. Look carefully, so to speak. Seek underground. Oh. What is that? A 
Oh. Is that a cave? I would have never seen that. It's a cave right here. How cool. Oh, nice. My prediction might be right. Secret tunnel. Let's go. And then this probably takes us to the island. Maybe. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to make that thing mad. Yes, let's go. This took us right over to the island. I'm sure of it. And a rare item. Dang it, more great glove work. Don't they understand we don't need those? <laughs> we don't need those. Wait, did I go the wrong way? I'm not on the island. I'm on top of this thing. I need to go that way. I went the wrong way when we jumped out of the tunnel. All right, back in the tunnel. If we go the other way. Maybe that will take us to the island. This is where we started at. Um, looks like it could be a boss. Oh, it's a lobster. I got mixed up in direction there. Which way did we come from? Uh, let's look at the map here. We want to go this way. That'll take us out to the city, I think. Or out to the island. And at last, I think we're at the island. Oh, yep. Yeah, we are at the island. Um, there's no way he'll get... Yeah, you're not going to fit in there. You are not going to fit in there. freaking crab right outside the doorway to that. That's awesome. Alright, we're here. We made it to this island that we've been tra tracking down. Well, that I've been trying to figure out how to get to. Is there a grace over here? Please be a grace. Mikola letter, note, something. A Statue of America? Southern Nameless Mausoleum. Be wary of fire. Visions of fire. 
All right, well, let's uh, see what we got going on here. Dancer of Ranna. Wow, damage is crazy. Fire is deadly, very, very deadly. Dancer of Rana is defeated. Dancing Blade of Rana. Dancer's Hood. Dancer's Dress. Dancer's Bracers. Uh, let's see the blade. It's a curved sword. Oh, also, I wanted to read about the spirit sword. Let's read about the spirit sword first that we picked up before. Sharp blade sculpted into a twisted shape. A sword that has seen many years of use in the gravesite. Said to serve as a medium for communion with spirits. Rank or slash. Okay, and that's an intelligence weapon, and this is a straight-up dex weapon, dex 20. Decorative sword ablaze with impassionate red, a pair of weapon made to be wielded in both hands. Used by the Dancers of Rana, strikes enemies with a dancing assault when executing a strong attack. Unique skill, undanding, unending dancer, a furious dance formed by succession of dancing attacks. Hold the button down to sustain the dance for as long as the stamina allows. Oh, wow. That's pretty deadly if you have a lot of stamina. No wonder I couldn't get away from that. Yeah, dex builds, man. This is a, this is going to be a good dex weapon, no doubt. All right. Is there anything else over on this island? Please tell me there's something else over here. We went to all the work to find this damn cave. A grace even? No grace? Nope, no grace. All right, well, that's how we get over there. So that's good to know. That has been accomplished. We have figured out the island. And back to the Cerulean Coast. Okay, uh, as far as I know, I'm pretty sure we went through all this. Because I know we went, I know we went down here. This is what I know we did. But I don't know if we did this. Let's go ride through it just to see. And 
then once I see something familiar, we'll call this area capped off. I can summon here. Wonder why. Oh, that's why. Another dragon. Oh, these ghost flame dragons are not easy. I saw that coming. This is good killing over here. Oh, it's killing skeletons. A bunch of skeletons over here. Stupid skeletons. I don't need this. Yes, fly away from those skeletons, please. Oh no. Oh shit. T 
those skeletons are really wrecking me, man. Shit, man. I thought I was far enough away. Damn, this ghost dragon is stronger than the last one we fought. Being a ghost dragon, I wonder if it'd be weak to holy. I'd try it. Oh yeah, it is weak to holy. Yeah, definitely weak to holy. Good to know. Shit torn, it just got a bit annihilated. Sure, spam the same attack twice. gonna mess this up this time. Let's go. Dragon Heart and Somber Ancient Dragon Spitting Stone.
Okay. Everything's dead. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, I'm so glad I brought the sword into the DLC. <laughs> the sword has come in handy so many times. So we killed him. Uh, what time are we at? 46 minutes? Let's cap it off there, I'm thinking. And the next episode, we'll ride through here just to... Well, I guess we could just do that quick. Just because I think we've already done all this. I'm pretty sure we have. The dragon was new, though, so that was kind of weird to me. Because I thought we have ridden through here before. So maybe we weren't here before, because we don't... I don't remember seeing a dragon here before. I would have killed it before. <laughs> now, where are my runes at, though? They're right... Oh, okay, they're on the ground right there. Couldn't see them with all the blue. Yeah, we've been here before. I remember this giant gate. Okay, so we've done all this. We just apparently never went to the right. That's where we would have ran into that dragon had we done that. Okay. Um, I'm thinking we'll call it there, and let's come up with a game plan then for next time. Because I think we're finishing up stuff. We're almost ready to go to the Atlas Plateau. And if you haven't seen joined us for that episode yet, there's a giant Atlas Plateau up here that we haven't even wandered into yet. Like all this, yeah. It's a whole nother area. Uh, but let's go through here, just make sure we got everything. We got it, We went through all this now. This has been ca totally capped off. We fought the dragon down here even. We figured out how to get over here, fought that boss. We went through all this. This leads to the Dragon Communion. That leads over the Bale, which is on hold right now because this is insane. Uh, the Fingers, I still don't know what to do with this, so we're going to hold off on that. Um, this is that underground pathway with the water. And I think we went through all that now. Pretty sure we have. We went through all that. Um, There wasn't anything else down by the poison, was there? I don't think there was. I think that was just opened up into that area that we were... The uh, lake area. The waterway. And as far as I know, I think we both went and we went to the entire waterway down there. Yeah, I don't see any other reason to go back down there unless... Oh, no, wait. There is a reason. We haven't been over there. All right. Next episode, we will head right over into that village uh, in an area we haven't been to. So we'll uh, go back down and around and we'll do that next time. So stay tuned, guys. Much more coming soon.